Good morning, good morning. If you're ever lucky enough to take a stroll along the beach by Gulfside City Park on Sanibel, you might be too entranced by the shells and surf to notice a nearby empty plot of land. This glorious four-acre golf front property was once owned by Nelson Perry and his wife, Dr. Louise Merriman Perry. Dr. Perry was born in 1878, and she obtained her MD degree from the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine in 1912. She became one of the first female ophthalmologists in the country. Her practice was in Asheville, North Carolina. In 1918, the Perrys started vacationing on Sanibel. They eventually purchased the property you see before you and built a home they named Spindrift. Dr. Perry soon took up an interest in shells. She would go out with a local boat captain and dredge the deep water to find specimens. Her husband, Nelson, built a laboratory where she kept aquariums for her scientific studies. She went on to write two acclaimed books. In 1940, she published Marine Shells of the Southwest Coast of Florida. And in 1955, she wrote Marine Shells of the Western Coast of Florida. Up until Pearl Harbor, Dr. Perry maintained correspondence with Japanese Emperor Hirohito. The two connected over their mutual interest in shells. Dr. Perry was also very involved on Sanibel. She became the first president of the Sanibel Community Association and was the director of the annual Sanibel Shell Show. She also joined forces with Ding Darling to help conserve land on the island. Islanders would come to Dr. Perry for medical attention since there wasn't an official island doctor. When they asked how much they owed, Dr. Perry would say, we are glad to help each other on Sanibel for nothing. Upon her passing in 1962, she donated the property to the US Fish and Wildlife Services. The land now belongs in the care of Sanibel's JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. The preserve is closed to the public because Dr. Perry's one wish was to give Sanibel's wildlife a safe haven. Today the land serves as a sanctuary for bobcats, tortoises, the snowy plover and many other species. There is an educational interpretive kiosk in the Gulfside City Park that you can visit that pays homage to Dr. Perry. I hope you get to stroll by the Perry Track Preserve one day and remember Dr. Louise Merriman Perry, who so generously donated her piece of paradise to the wildlife of Sanibel. My name is Nick Adams. Come and join me on the next one. If you would like to view the Perry Track, go to Gulfside City Park on Sanibel, walk east out of the back of the parking lot, through the walking trails and past the picnic tables to the very last boardwalk. This boardwalk is the western edge of the Perry Tract. You will see the blue and white JN Ding Darling sign. Walk down the boardwalk and turn left and walk along the beach. The far eastern boundary of Perry Tract runs along Sandpiper Beach Resorts Walkway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get reminded of new content. Be sure to check out the SanibelCaptivaGuide.com where you will find a ton of useful information, whether you're interested in the history of the islands, places to visit, or things to do. It's got everything there. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.